Okay. <laughs> Good evening. I'm gonna give Facebook a second here to let y'all know that I'm live. It has been a lovely day here in Indy. Hey Nikki. I'm letting people hop on here. Turning off my notifications. Oh, okay. Hi, Karen. Hey, guys. I like just sat down to do my video and I was like, oh my word. We were at the zoo today and so my hair is like just a mess. Carrie, hi. Hey, Wendy. Where are you guys from? I don't know everybody. Let me know where you're from. Hi, Betty. Okay, I'm going to try to not bump this um, setup I have going on because I can't find my regular phone holder. So hopefully we'll be okay. Oh, Wendy, I did know you're from Minnesota. Okay. Oh, good. It's good to have you all here. Okay, so it's been a long time since I did um, a class like this. We did one a long time ago. Probably like two years ago we did one, and then I did another kind of intro class last year, but it's been a while, so I think it's about time. Oh, Allison Fambro. Okay, good. I'm glad she recommended me. Don't tell her if I did a terrible job. Okay, Carrie? All right, so, um, so I'm really excited y'all are here. Um, I wanted to answer some of our most basic questions and just kind of go over... Um, really the essentials that you need to know to generate an income with Young Living. Um, but first I want to give you, hi Amanda, I want to give you just a little bit of my history. So some of you have probably heard this, tune out, go grab a drink or something if you've already heard this. But um, basically when I was introduced to Young Living, I was introduced fully from the oil side and not from the business side, which is generally how people introduce with Young Living um, because our products are incredible. And so... When I first bought my kit, I told my enroller that I wanted nothing to do with the business because I had actually already had a business in years past, a photography business, not network marketing, but I'd had a business and I knew that I didn't have time for it and I just, I didn't want anything to do with it. So I said, I don't want anything to do with that, just so you know. She said, that's fine, there's no pressure. Um, and then over time I kind of stumbled into it because I just was really naturally sharing because I loved the oils. I just... I just loved every Young Living product we used, and so I just told people about them all the time, and somehow I just kind of wound up doing this. So um, anyway, my current rank with the company is a silver, which is our first leadership rank. Um, our team is pushing hard for gold this month, so I'm really excited about that. But we're going to be covering just the basics up through executive tonight. So if you have questions about the leadership ranks, honestly, I'm not your person. <laughs> like, I don't even have all those answers down. So um so look in your virtual office and find your, your closest diamond if you have serious questions like that. But we're going to talk about starting out as a distributor and going up through executive and just what that looks like, how we share and how we get paid and things like that. So I know that a lot of you probably came with some questions and that's okay, but I would like you to try to hold your questions until we get closer to the end just to see if I'm going to cover them already. Um, and then, you know, if you have questions, feel free to let me know. I, I don't, honestly, I try to keep most of my Facebook classes to half an hour, but I don't know how the interaction will be with this one or if there will be a lot of questions. So we'll just play it by ear. And if you guys need to pop out at the end, if you don't have time, that's totally fine. So I know we have people here who kind of run the gamut, people who are brand, brand new to Young Living and people who have been around several years. So I've been around about four and a half years, our family loves Young Living, we love the products, we love this business now, and so I'm just really excited to share with you tonight. So, a stalled senior star, okay. Well, I tell people all the time that, you know, we used to have this thing called um, Silver and Six, and um, it was like, that was the thing, you pushed for Silver in six months, and I tell people all the time that I was a Silver in 15, and it doesn't matter how long it takes you to get to Silver, if you get to Silver, you're rocking it. So, I'm a proud Silver in 15. <laughs> All right, if you guys have a diffuser going, tell me what you have in it. I have highest potential in my diffuser right now. It's right there. That's one of my favorite diffusers. Okay, carry on with the discussion. I'm going to tell you how we kind of um, got this started, and we'll go over a couple things that are just standard procedure, and then we'll just chat. So 
Um, so I mentioned that I just shared about Young Living a lot naturally. So most people that purchase Young Living oils start out just wanting the products. Very, very common. Um, in fact, if you were to talk with any of our um, highest leadership ranks, like our crown diamonds and royal crown diamonds, almost all of them would say, oh, I didn't want anything to do with the business. I just wanted the oils. Like I said, I would never do this. <laughs> Seriously, it happens all the time. Oh, I'm loving those. Yeah. Um, it happens all the time, and it's exactly the same way that it was for me. But what happens is when you find something that you really love, you just naturally talk to your friends about it. It's like, I mean, we're all on Facebook, right? So how, how many days go by when we don't see a post asking for a referral? It's pretty unusual. We like to get referrals from our friends. We like to know what's, what's working for other people, what experiences other people have had. And the way that Young Living is set up is just brilliant. We are basically just a giant referral network. Like we don't, we don't have to hold stock like some companies do. We just refer people to get their own account. It's so easy. So, um, so anyway, we, you know, we, we have these referrals for everything and we do a lot of that on social media and what Young Living is, is basically just referring people to a company that you love. So it's not any different than saying, oh my goodness, we went to this restaurant for the first time last night and it was amazing. Or we went to this restaurant for the 10th time last night and it was still amazing. You know, or does anyone have a pediatrician that they really like because we're looking for a new one or Whatever. I mean, this is just how referrals work, and we thrive on that because we want to know what our friends like. That means a lot to us. And that was just how I got started with Young Living. I just loved the products, and I would talk about them like that. Oh my gosh, I'm totally blown away. I can't believe what these, these oils are doing for us. So, um, so there is a little bit of an element that is important to know as you're sharing, especially on social media, and that is that because our products are not approved or... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? The FDA doesn't have any kind of governing authorities over what's actually in our products, which we're actually really thankful for. Um, but what they do have is the ability to let us know how we can and cannot talk about the products with other people. And that's actually good because we don't want to come across like we are doctors or nurses. Even if you are a doctor or a nurse, you actually can't do any type of prescribing or discussing diseases or ailments or anything that's outside of just regular normal life. So um, we're not gonna really get into compliance a whole lot, but I just want you to know that is a, something that you need to look into as you're sharing with other people. We don't want to be that, um, that only resource. We wanna encourage people to take their health into their own hands and do their own research and um, feel confident doing that on their own. So that's just a sidestep to compliance. We aren't talking about that too much tonight. But um, anyway, so I just basically shared. Um, and then my sponsor, <laughs> she said, would you like to have a class? And I was like, mm, no, <laughs> I don't want to have a class. That sounds kind of businessy and I don't want to do that. And she just kind of gently pressed and said, well, you know, you have a lot of friends who seem really interested. Maybe you could make a little bit of extra money, you know, just like cover your cover your oils, cover the cost of your oils. And so finally I said, all right, I'll have a class. And so I scheduled a class. We had a lot of people come and a lot of people that said, oh, I really, really want to come, but I can't. Are you going to have another one? So then we scheduled a second class. And if I remember correctly, we had them both in the same month. So my first month that I did two in-home classes, I had eight new members, which in Young Living terms means $400, which was crazy because I just had no intention of doing this as a business or generating any kind of income. I just didn't care. And so that was really exciting for me. And sometimes we refer to that as the accidental paycheck. Like we just refer people and don't really think about it. And we're not really interested in pursuing a real business, but all of a sudden we get a paycheck and we're like, whoa, that was really fun. So that was kind of how I got started. And um, so we moved shortly thereafter and once we got settled, I really started to take a look at the realities of what this type of business could do for our family. Um, I realized that it was nothing like the business I had had before because it required less time and it required less work outside the house, which was really the issue because we were homeschooling. Um, it gave me a lot more flexibility. I was able to set my own hours, do my work on my own time. 
it was just very much, there was a lot more freedom with this type of business. So I kind of started to delve into it. And um, I don't know, I guess the rest is history. But, um, but we just love it. And so I want to share with you some of the uh, basic information that you need to know if this is something that you're just looking into or if this is something that you want to be able to share with other people. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be pulling some slides. There's a, if you're, if you're building an income with Young Living, there's a website that you need to know about. It's called oilrevolutiondesigns.com. Maybe somebody can throw that up there in the comments. Um, they put out these amazing graphics every month. It's like, I think it's $5 a month, five or $6 a month. Um, they put out graphics that you can download and they have all kinds of, they have the monthly promotional graphics. They have full classes, like graphics for an entire class. Um, they have, um, they have stock photos. They have all kinds of stuff. Sorry, I got a text. I got distracted. Um, they have all kinds of stuff that, um, is customized. So once you download it, all your name and your member number and stuff goes on it. So when you share those things on social media, it automatically has your information on it. So all that to say, you need to check that out if you're working on building a business because it's really, really inexpensive for what they offer. But I'm going to be pulling from a class that they actually put out and their class is called, um, I have my, no, I need to move my computer, Understanding the Young Living Income Opportunity, which is what this the title of this event was um, per the graphic. So, um, so most people have an idea of kind of what they're looking for in an income. You know, for for most Americans, three to five hundred dollars a month difference in their paycheck would be completely life altering. I mean, that's that's a car a nice car payment. That is a, a month of groceries. That's several bills. Um, I mean, and that's really not that much money, but that is so life-changing for many people. And so when I first kind of started sharing and I had that like initial boom month where I got a $400 paycheck, I went, whoa. Um, but you have to keep working, you know, if you want to get a paycheck. And so I kind of slacked off there for, for a little while and picked it back up again. But then what I had to determine was really, if I'm going to do this, what is the purpose of doing this? Like, we have to have a reason for pursuing the business or it's you're not going to keep at it. So we talk a lot in Young Living about finding your why or um, thinking about your dream. And basically what that means is you have to have specific goals and and you have to have them in writing. You have to be able to see, am I making progress? And is this worth it for me to be taking time away from whatever it is, your family or your regular schedule or whatever you're doing to work on this business? So um, so we kind of had to delve into that and sort of hash things out. But a lot of people have specific goals when they first get started. And oftentimes that first goal is, if I could just like pay for my order every month, that would be great. I just want to, you know, like... Maybe just fifty to a hundred dollars a month that would cover my order. That would be perfect, and that is a that's a remarkable thing to get to because at that point you're getting your oils for free. So it's like, like can you imagine referring someone to the grocery store and getting your groceries for free? I, I mean, I can't because we eat a lot of food here in this house. But, um, but it's basically like that. You're getting a segment of your income that's covering a certain part of what you're doing. Of course, cash is fluid. But it's just really neat that that's a possibility. So that's a very common first step for people. I just want to cover the cost of my oils. Um, and then and then before people even can think really that big, because it is hard to think this big sometimes, sometimes they just think, oh, if I could just have a little bit extra money, I could save it for a vacation, or you know, we could save it for, start saving for a new car, we could take a little bit of extra money and get new furniture, or you know, little goals. Those are good. It's good to have those little steps because it keeps you motivated. But once you get to that point, oftentimes you think, man, I could do this maybe five hours a week and I could replace that part-time job that I'm working on. Or maybe, maybe even in a couple years, I could replace that full-time job or I could replace that my spouse's full-time job. You know, some people have a spouse that's in a really, really difficult spot with their work, but they're not able to come home and they don't really have the ability to look around for a job. So they're just kind of stuck. Um, this is an opportunity oftentimes 
for wives especially to be able to help with the income so that frees up the husband to be able to look around a little bit more or to understand that all that weight isn't on them. And that can go the other way around as well, but a lot of the business owners we have in Young Living are wives, and I just think it's really neat that we're able to contribute to our family like that. So um, so looking to replace an income is common. Um, even bigger things like paying off debts or paying off your mortgage, that's actually our next step in our family is to pay off our mortgage. We're really excited about that, and our goal is for my husband to come home from work once our mortgage is paid off. So. Um, so we're really excited about that. Um, other people have other goals, like they want to be able to retire early or they want to be able to retire well because, you know, most people that retire these days are retiring on very little. And so they're living, um, they're living a comfortable life until they retire and then things get tighter and that's not really the goal. You know, we really want to be able to enjoy those years. So there's a lot of goals that people might have, but those are some of the most common ones. And those are some things that you'll want to think through because you do need to have something in place that's going to make it worth it for you to continue to pursue this. And honestly, it is so worth it. This, this business is, I mean, the model of network marketing is incredible because we have people who are continuing to buy. So what we have in this industry is something called residual income. So what that means is that our products are amazing and people love them and they want to continue to use them and specifically with Young Living our products are consumable which means they're going to use them up and so they're going to buy again next month and that's why we have this incredible loyalty program with our with our auto ship so that means that every month when the month starts over we can see we already have money coming in this month even if I did nothing even if we had an emergency and I had to take a month away from work, I would still get a paycheck that month and it would be about the same size because a lot of what we're doing is just based on residual. We're just, we're just showing people amazing products and they want to keep buying them. So it's just a remarkable um, industry. It, it's just, there, there's not really a lot out there like it that would be residual in the same way. So it really is worth it. But you're going to need to find a way to remind yourself that it's worth it because it is hard. It's a business. So it's not, it's not just slide in and it's easy peasy. It's work. So you need to come into it with an attitude that this is a part-time job and you need to work at it. And when you do, you're going to reap huge results. You can't actually fail in network marketing unless you give up. If you keep working, you will grow your business. You will generate an income. It's when you give up that you fail. That's the only time. So, okay, so let's talk a little bit about the income potential with Young Living. So I know I shared a graphic about, I, I think I shared a graphic about this in the group, now I'm second guessing myself. I know for sure that I shared the video about ranking, um, or the rank, the perks per rank, and so I'm not going to go into all of the perks per rank, but I do just want to talk a little bit about the income potential with Young Living. So. Since we're talking about income, if you're if you're on the phone, this would be challenging for you right now, and you could do it later. But if you're on your computer, go ahead and open up a new tab, and you can go to youngliving.com slash, um, not backslash, the normal one, whatever that is, backslash, I think, IDS, that stands for Income Disclosure something, Statement, Income Disclosure Statement, I think, IDS. Um, and, and I already shared a link to that in the group as well, actually. But what that does is that will provide you with an idea of approximately how many hours people are working at different ranks to achieve specific paycheck amounts and just kind of what that looks like for them. So I have one here. I'm just going to reference it. I know that if I flip it around for you, it's going to be backwards, so I'm not going to do that. But um, So I'm just going to pull up from this in case you missed that. But everybody with Young Living that joins as a member starts as a distributor. So it used to be that you always had to enter your social when you created a membership account. You could, do, you could do retail if you wanted to, and you didn't need to have your social in there. But in order to be a wholesale member, you had to do your so, use your social. That is no longer the case. Um, we can now become a distributor even without a social. And so the distinction there is that some people join and they know for sure that they want to generate an income. And so for them, it makes the most sense for them to go ahead and put their social security number in when they're creating their account. For many people though, like I mentioned already, many people don't join with that intention. And so they don't need to add their social security number to their account. 
But if they begin to generate an income and they start to refer people to the company, at some point, Young Living will contact them and say, we need to get your social security number because we're going to need to send you some tax papers at the end of the year. And so you'll need to give it to them then if you want to continue to get paid. <laughs> so that's the distinction. But everybody starts out at that same base level of wholesale membership and it's called a distributor. So even if you don't ever distribute or refer or generate an income, you're still just called a distributor. So don't let that concern you if you've seen that in the virtual office. But if you are a distributor and you're working on building a business, the average number of hours per week that somebody works at that rank is about three. Um, in general, distributors are not making much money at all because they're not doing a whole lot of work. Uh, as you advance and you, you become a star, which is our next rank, a star is when your overall group volume is 500 PV. So I know that I popped a graphic in here earlier. Hopefully you had a chance to look over that, but PV just stands for personal volume. And so, um, so you've got PV, which is personal volume, and OGV, which is organizational group volume or overall group volume. Either one works. It means the same thing. Um, as a star, your, your personal volume needs to be 100. Your overall group volume needs to be 500. Now, this, this can just be you. Some people just place an order that large, and they rank up to star all on their own, which is fine, but you're not going to make any money off your own orders. <laughs> um, but you can do that, and you can still hit a rank. And in our team, I still send rank gifts even if you place that order on your own and hit the rank. So um, that's just a fun perk to being in our team. I just love to bless people with gifts. Um, but the average star that's working their business, not just placing that order on their own, is working about eight hours a week. And on average, they're making about $80 a month. So almost covering their order. If they're placing a $100 order, that's almost covering their order. Okay, a senior star is working about nine hours a week on average. Um, their average monthly paycheck is about $255, and a senior star is 100 PV, 100 in personal volume, and 2,000 OGV, 2,000 in overall group volume. So it's very unusual for somebody to place a 2,000 PV order on their own. It's very unusual, but it does happen. So you can still rank up to senior star on your own. However, when you get to executive, you begin to start to need what we call legs. And this is where you are helping other people succeed as they start to build a young living business. So when we get to executive, the qualification is that you have 100 PV and that is the qualification all the way through. With young living, you never ever have to spend more than $100 a month on your order ever to get all of your bonuses and commissions. So, um, so 100 PV at executive and two, and 4,000 OGV. So that's that's your group doing 4,000 in sales, and two legs at a thousand. So this means that you're helping at least two people create or build their business, generate their own income with Young Living, which is just neat because we only succeed in this business when we're helping other people succeed. It's a, it's basically just a giant team sport. <laughs> so when we help other people reach their goals and build the income for their family, then we start to do that for ourselves as well. And so we all do that together as a team. Yeah, $100 a month is amazing. And I know there are other companies out there where you are required to order every month. Um, you never have to order every month with Young Living to remain a member, but you do have to order every month if you want to get a paycheck. <laughs> but never more than 100. That's um, that's the max. So it's really, and in terms of a business investment, it's extremely inexpensive. Um, extremely, <laughs> extremely inexpensive. Um, having having had a photography business in the past, I certainly invested thousands of dollars even just to get started. And all we need to invest to get started is 160. So yes, just an incredible business opportunity in that in that regard. So the average executive, sorry for that long caveat, the average executive is working about 11 hours a week and making an average paycheck of $549. Okay, so that's just kind of an overview for you on that. Um, because we're not going to go past executive, I want to tell you though, we have some interesting um, opportunities in that stage. We have 
a program from Young Living that's called Elite Express. So if you've been around a while, you've probably heard about our Silver in Six program. That's been phased out and it's been changed to be significantly better. And now we call it Elite Express because it used to be that there wasn't really any incentive to get to executive quickly. There was an incentive to go from executive to silver really quickly um, in six months or less, and you would get the Aroma Complete collection, which now we call the Premier Aroma Collection. It's like 180 of our oils. You can buy it. It's, I think it's $2,200 or something if you buy it. But you could earn it if you went from executive to silver in six. Well, what Young Living did was they totally upped the ante like tossed that kind of in the trash and made something bigger and better. So now, from the time that you're first starting out, the Elite Express program kicks in when you hit star. So just at 500 OGV. Um, so there is a, I'll post a graphic later in the group, but basically the Elite Express program starts at star. And if you go from the rank of star, maintain that rank and you go, you advance through senior star and up to executive in three months, you get like a cool pack of stuff that I don't have memorized, but I think you get like an Aria diffuser and a couple of bottles of oil. Anyway, the program just expands and it goes all the way up through platinum. So I just want you to know that just as a taste if you're just starting out or especially if you've just hit star. In my team, I'll send you something and you'll know this, but you can go ahead and Google this too, Young Living Elite Express, and you can see that program. But that just means that Young Living has put in place some amazing things for people who are really motivated and really ready to succeed right away, which I love. And I love that there's encouragement to do that. So, um, so beyond executive, though, I'll just give you a couple of numbers so you can kind of roll these around in your head. Silver was kind of like my um, ethereal, like, oh, I probably won't ever get to that rank, but it sounds kind of pretty, you know, goal. I say goal loosely because I, I really didn't think this was a reality. Um, but the average silver paycheck is $2,221. There are significantly higher paychecks and there are some smaller paychecks, but that's an average silver paycheck per month. So would $2,000 be something that would change your family's life each month? Yeah. Mega changes for a lot of people. In fact, I don't suggest living on this amount of money, but if you were a single person, it's not impossible. I mean, this is really life-changing money. Um, the average gold makes $6,042 a month. The average platinum, $14,700. The average diamond, almost $39,000 per month, per month. Okay, crown diamond, $74,000 and royal crown, $141,000 per month. This is mind-blowing to me. <laughs> it's mind-blowing to me. Um, and we actually know a few people that are in these ranks. It's, I, it's just crazy. I can't even really fathom it. But in a sense, I kind of can fathom it because I never thought we'd be at silver. And here we are pushing for gold. And it's almost real to me that that is the thing like this is real money so if you're thinking and some people think this and some I've actually thought this in the past if you're thinking oh that's really nice no one needs that much money that's so true nobody needs that much money which is why I love Young Living and how they encourage us to give give that money away um, our company CEO, Mary Young, she says all the time that lots of money in the hands of good people can do lots of good things. And they are truly, she and her husband, um, Gary's our founder, Mary is his wife, they are truly just the most giving people. I mean, they do not act like a company founder and CEO. And the, I, the best place I can tell you to go to see this for yourself with your own eyes is to our international convention each summer because they're there and you can see them and they're just real people and they're so nice and generous and they just love people and so if you haven't heard of this I'll just caveat into this for one second because um, it's one of my favorite things about our company we have a foundation called the Young Living Foundation you can google that um, and 
it is just an amazing organization. All of the money that we donate to the Young Living Foundation goes directly to the cause. Like Young Living pays all the administrative fees. And so every single penny that we put towards that, and I mean every penny because you can round up your monthly order, even your quick orders, you can round up and donate to the Young Living Foundation. And every single penny goes to those places where we're working and we're helping the people. And so we're involved with um, caring, for, caring for people across the globe. We have Hope for Justice, which is um, dealing with trafficking. We have um, Soul Hope, which works with kids in Africa who are suffering from parasites. It, I mean, there's a ton of them. And you can even designate which one you want to give to when you round up your order. So this has nothing to do with the compensation plan, really, except that it's just so dear to my heart. And I want you to know that our our company founder and CEO are so on board with this and they want you to be crazy generous with the money and that's why they have a crazy generous compensation plan because they know that the people in Young Living are really good people. We are good people that want to help other people and they really really encourage that and so anyway I just want to tell you that because I know that sometimes those money those numbers um, sound crazy and like what would I do with that but um, but think of what good you could do with that. It's not for you. It's, you know, I don't believe that our money is for us ever. I believe our money is to give back to the Lord, to show him gratitude for what he's given us. But just think of all the things you could do, all the, all the organizations you could give to, the missionaries you could fund, the children you could help, the children you could adopt, um, the adoptions you could fund for other people. I mean, just crazy, blow your mind, dreaming kind of things. That's what you do with that income. So anyway, that is a possibility with Young Living. And it's not, it's not outside the realm of possibility. I mean, it sounds crazy. I know it does. But we know these people. They're just regular people sharing about Young Living. So anyway, there's a long, a long little section on the foundation because I just love it. Okay, so that's the income potential. Now, um, we talked just a little bit on the investment. You'll never need to spend more than $100 a month ever to get that ginormous $141,000 paycheck when you're a Royal Crown. For sure you will, though, because you will love all the products and you will be buying, like, everything in your house will be Young Living, like it is in our house. Um, but your investment does not have to be more than $100 a month. I will say, though, I've heard from a number of Royal Crown Diamonds um, that they are where they're at in the company because of the products, not the other way around. So what that means is they kept trying new things, they kept filling their home with Young Living, they kept seeing what the products would do for them, and then because of that, out of that came the growth of their business because the more products you have, the more you're able to bless other people by sharing about those products with them. So that grows your business. So while you never have to spend more than $100 a month, we personally always take advantage of the biggest promotion Young Living offers because first of all, you're getting a lot of free stuff. And secondly, we want to be able to fill our home with those things so we can see how we enjoy them, what they do for us, and then share them with other people. So $100 a month is the max, but it probably won't be your max forever. <laughs> so just know that. Um, in terms of initial investment, I think probably everybody here is already a member, but in case you're in case there's someone watching that's not a member or you know if you have a friend that's interested in the business side of things and you're not quite sure, all you need to get started is a wholesale membership. And I love that when Young Living created the new starter kit, I don't know if it's been a year or two years ago now, but when they created it, they made it really, really business friendly. So when you get your kit, you always get this beautiful box. This is the Mona Farm, by the way, in Mona, Utah. So if you go to convention, you get to visit this farm. Or if you go to Silver Retreat. Um, but you get this beautiful box. And under your oils, or if you get the basic kit, you don't get the oils. But under your oils, there's another section in your box. So you take this little flap off. And mine's kind of jumbled. But you have this other section. And what they give you in this section are business tools. So you're already set to share. So you don't have to share if you don't want to, but if you do want to, you're already set. You've got 10 sample bottles. You have 10 little sample pack, um, little foils, foil, foil oils, oil foils. <laughs> anyway, there's samples there. And then you have these little cards that tell people 
what to do with those oils that you're giving them as a sample. Um, and then you even get to sample the Ningxia Red. So before you buy it, before you buy the big set of it, you get to sample those too. Um, and then in addition to that, in this little pocket, on the other side, you get great supplies to help people understand the business. So first of all, you get an enrollment form. This enrollment form is not for you. You're already a member. It's for you to give to a friend. So the majority of the time we do enrollments online, but sometimes that's not possible. Sometimes we're not near your computer, you know, variables. So they give you an enrollment form. So you have that to get started. Okay, you also have this handy little sheet so you can compliantly share about the oils that came in your kit. Have you all used this? You pulled this out of your box? It's beautiful. It gives a couple ways to use each of the oils that come in the kit, including the flex oils. If, they, if an oil goes out of stock and they have to sub it with something else, those flex oils are listed here as well. Um, so that is a business tool in itself. And then this big map. We'll see if I can open this. This might be a bad idea. We're going to try it anyway because I'm all for bad ideas. This map here shows the Young Living Roadmap. And it shows all of our farms and distilleries. This one is actually a little bit outdated, but they, they get updated, of course. Um, and it shows how to get started. So it says, begin your journey here with Young Living. Get started. Here's how to plug into all of our social media Um they don't even have it on here. My favorite Young Living tool is Instagram. Um, but they're on Pinterest and YouTube and Twitter and Facebook, and they have an amazing blog. Now we have YL University. So if you don't feel confident using your oils, you can go into the virtual office and click on YL University. Then they have um, training on the Love It, Share It program, which is basically just love the products, share the products. It's really basic. It's really easy. It's basically the entire way that my business started. And it's how most people's business get started. Then essential rewards. We didn't touch on that yet, but hold on. Three for free. This is enroll three people with a premium starter kit and you basically cover the cost of yours because for every person who buys a premium starter kit, you get $50. So if your kit is 160, you pretty much cover the cost of your kit when you enroll three people. Okay, and then it starts to go through the ranks, star, senior, star, executive, all the way up here. They include the retreats. So once you get to silver um, and you, may, you start to maintain your rank for three months at a time, each of those ranks have a retreat and it's all expenses paid from Young Living. They fly you to wherever it is. They feed you. They give you free stuff. They lavish their members. It's, they're amazing. I've only been on one retreat. Next year will be gold retreat. I'm so excited. Um, so anyway, just... This is a great business tool to just show people the potential of what the options are. So on the flip side, they have a little bit more information about what each of those steps mean and you can go through that on your own. But that is in your starter kit. So we talked about $100 a month being the maximum you ever need to spend. Now, the best way to spend that money is to do it on our loyalty program, which is our, our auto ship program called Essential Rewards. Essential Rewards has a lot of other things that go along with it, a lot of additional free items. You begin to earn a percentage of your orders back, which means that you get more stuff for free. It's just a very kind of common sense way. It's the best way to build your investment with Young Living. So I'm going to throw this back together real quick. Um, okay, so your upfront cost is no more than 160 your monthly cost is more, no more than $100. We talked about how essential rewards is the best way to do that. Um, okay, so then let's do a quick breakdown of how you get paid. When you enroll a new member with a premium starter kit, the flat the way that we usually say it is you earn $50. Okay, that's accurate, but let's break it down just a little bit so you know where that $50 is coming from. So the $50 that you earn when you enroll someone with a premium starter kit, and this is assuming that you are also placing an order that month of $50 or more, 50 PV or more, it's mostly equivalent to dollars. Um, that $50 that you earn comes from two places. First of all, you have a start living bonus. This is a flat $25 for anybody who buys a premium starter kit. Then you have what we call the fast start bonus. 
and this is a percentage of those orders. So 25% of that premium starter kit volume, which is also $25, makes that $50 altogether. So you're getting $25 from the Start Living bonus and 25% of their PV, and the starter kit PV is 100. 25% of that is another $25, so that makes 50. So you're going to make $50 minimum when somebody purchases their kit. Now, that 25% of course means that that is, it could be larger. So for instance, if they place another product on their on their order with their premium starter kit, or if they get it enrolled in Essential Rewards, <laughs> Essential Rewards right away, that's going to raise the PV value of their order, and so you're going to continue to make more money on that. So that fast start bonus continues for their first three calendar months. So that 25% that you earn up front, you're going to continue to get until they've reached their fourth month with the company. So for example, we've just started the month of April. So anybody who enrolled today would start would be starting in April and you'd be earning 25% of their PV order volume during the months of April, May, and June. Now, if they were to enroll on April 30th, you would still earn 25% for April, May, and June. Okay, so it's not like 30-day calendar months, it's the month on the calendar. So this is why we really encourage people to have their classes at the beginning of the month because you have more opportunity for them to get their products, love their products, and buy more products while you're earning that maximum amount of money. Okay, so those are the two bonuses you're going to get up front. Now during that period of time, the standard Unilevel commission is reduced. And so, um, during that time, you're not going to see a lot of what we call unilevel commission, which is our standard base pay, uh, because the bulk of it is going to these bonuses. So you're getting your $50 from the kit minimum, more if they order more, during that month. And then after those three months, you're going to drop to our standard unilevel commission. I'm realizing that this video is kind of hard to do without like being able to show you what I'm looking at. But if you... Um, if you were to look at our comp plan, you would see that as you as you advance in ranks um, during that at least during that first um, distributor to executive period, as you advance in rank, every advancement in rank you get paid another level. So anybody that you personally enroll and sponsor is going to go in your first level. Anybody that they enroll and sponsor, or <laughs> My alarm went off. Or you can enroll somebody and place them. We call this strategic placement, which we'll just touch on tonight. Anybody that you would pull up in your virtual office and you wouldn't see them right away, but you could you could pull them up and they'd be like in that little diagram, those are your levels. So as you advance in rank, you're going to earn for an additional level for each rank. And so the first level is 8%. We go to 5% for level two, 4% for levels three and four. And it goes on from there. But um, but just know that during those first months, you're not going to get that 8% that you would see on your first level because you're getting the big bonus, 25%. And I know this can be a little confusing since we're not looking at a paper. So if you have questions later, we can go through this in person too um, or on another live chat. Just know that. Um, so those are your initial um, bonuses that you're going to get. So this means that it's very beneficial for us to encourage people to use their products right away, see that they're amazing, and get them on essential rewards or have them place another order within a short period of time because we're making the bulk of our money up front. And of course, if they're on essential rewards, they're trying new things every month. This is beneficial for us in terms of money, but it's also beneficial for them because we know that our products change people's lives. So it's not just about the money. We really want people to experience what Young Living has to offer. Um, and the sooner that they do that, the more excited they are. So we are all really excited when we buy our kit and then it comes in the mail. And if we don't start to use it right away, we lose interest. That's just what happens. You know, we, it's a novelty and we forget about it. And then it's a lot harder to get that momentum back if it's been lost. So it's, 
it's good to do that as soon as you're able to and encourage them to take a, a wide look at the product line. I always recommend after people buy their starter kit or if they're trying to, if they want to buy some things in addition and they want to get on essential rewards right away, I encourage people to look at our thieves line, specifically our household cleaner because it's $22 and it lasts a really, really long time and it cleans everything. Um, I encourage them to look at Ninksha Red, which can be a little bit cost prohibitive for some people, but it I don't know if I've ever had somebody drink Ningxia Red for 60 days and decide that they don't need it anymore. It's that life altering for people. Um, so good for them and good for you. So um, the Thieves Cleaner is the next thing I recommend. Ningxia Red is great if they can't commit to uh, a, as large of a purchase as that. I love our probiotic. Getting people to understand that they can transfer what they're buying other places to Young Living is really, really helpful. And as a builder, it's really important that you understand that as well. So it's not like we're not carving out another $100 in our budget or $50 in our budget for people who are just starting out. We're not carving out that money from thin air. We're transfer buying. So I used to go to the health food store and buy my supplements. And then one day it occurred to me, oh, Young Living has supplements. They're actually going to be cheaper when I buy them on Essential Rewards. Why don't I just try those? So we stopped going to the health food store, started buying our supplements from Young Living, and then the health food store went out of business. <laughs> That's a true story, but I don't think it was because we stopped going there. Um, but we started doing that with all kinds of things. So we started buying our toothpaste from them and our hand soap and our shampoo and all, all kinds of other things. So it's not... We need people to understand that we're not saying, here's some great products that you'll love and oh, you need to find another $50 in your budget to put toward them and it's just worth it because they're going to be so good for you. It is worth it and they are going to be so good for them, but they're not finding another $50. They're pulling from whatever they were buying before and they're putting it into Essential Rewards and Essential Rewards is the key to building a business with Young Living. Because if all you're doing is enrolling people and enrolling people and enrolling people and they're buying a kit and they're not using it or buying anything else, you have to put forth the same effort every single month. But if you are encouraging people to look at the products and see what's there and get them on essential rewards to see the benefits of that, that is where we get residual income. And that is where we build an income that keeps coming every month. It's not, We don't have to put forth more and more and more and more effort, people are seeing the benefit of that. And then once they're seeing those benefits, they start to share them with other people. And this creates what we call the compound effect, where you share with them, they see the value, they share with people, they see the value, and it just ripples down. You missed most of it? That's okay. You can come back and watch it later. Um, oh goodness, it's 920. Okay. Well, we'll try to wrap up here. I know that this is, there's a lot of questions here. Let me make sure that I cover the questions that I mentioned in the, um, in the original post though, if I can find it. Okay. Let's see. If you guys have questions also, feel free to throw them up here, up there and we'll see what I have time for. Um, okay, so the first question I had listed, I'm already a Young Living member, how do I make money? You just share. Give people your member ID. Send them to youngliving.com. Tell them to plug it into the enroller and sponsor boxes, and you'll get an email when they buy their kit, and then you'll see them in, the, in your virtual office. It's very simple. You don't have to keep anything in stock. You just send them to youngliving.com and give them your number. So easy. Once you start doing that, then go ahead and talk to your sponsor or one of your leaders and ask about strategic placement and how that will benefit you as you grow your business. Um, but, but that is the simplest way to get started. Just tell people about the products because they're amazing and send them to youngliving.com. So easy. Um, you can do things like home classes are really the most... Um, beneficial thing you can do for your business, in my opinion. There are people who have done other things. I mean, you can do vendor events. You can do um, some people blog, especially if you're an established blogger. That's a great avenue for income. But you can blog. You can use Facebook and Instagram. Just make sure you're being compliant, falling in line with the FDA regulations, of course. Some people even do cold marketing. Um, you could call businesses. You can walk into businesses. But the majority of people just do natural sharing, 
They tell people about Young Living because they love Young Living, just like they would tell people about the restaurant on the corner because they love the restaurant on the corner. It's really just that easy. Um, so, oh, that kind of addresses one of the questions I said, can I generate an income with Young Living without annoying my friends? Well, that depends. Do you annoy your friends already? <laughs> if you're already an annoying friend, then the answer is probably no. But if you just love your friends and you're sharing with them because you love your friends, real friends are going to see that you just really genuinely want something that you know is going to bless their life. So I hope I don't annoy my friends. I've had a lot of people tell me, if I can build like that, like you're doing, I want to do that. That's encouraging because I don't want to be an annoying friend. I just want them to know that I want what's best for them and I know that Young Living would help them. So, but there are other options, like I mentioned, vendor events or vlogging or, you know, there's other ways to do it, but that is the most natural way and the way most people do it. And then going and teaching classes in homes, you don't have to be a genius. Um, if you're a part of my team, we're actually going to be doing a 101 class within our group sometime in the next week. And I'm just going to share how I share a class just using the product guide, the one that comes in the starter kit. And just going through it and talking about the basics. You don't have to know everything about the oils. You don't even have to know everything about all the oils in the starter kit. That's a good place to start, but you don't even have to know all of that. You can just say, I know that these oils are so good for us and I want you to have them too. It's really that easy. Um, okay, we answered the question, how much money? Um, can you do this in your spare time? Yes, I encourage you to commit to doing it a certain number of hours per week though. Even if that's just two hours a week, then I would encourage you to say yes, two hours a week, schedule it in. Um, there's an amazing resource for free online called Operation Silver Boot Camp. And we have some leaders that lead somebody, they lead a team through it every month. In fact, there's a new group starting tomorrow. Um, but you can do it for free without a group. There's obviously there's benefits to doing it in a group where you've got accountability and encouragement and motivation. You guys, my alarm keeps going off. <laughs> um, but you can do it on your own, but it's just operationsilverbootcamp.com. It's the best way I can tell you to get started. They're going to go over things like the comp plan, how to share, how to find your why, um, how to develop personally, because this is a people business and we are dealing with people 24 seven. So if you don't like people, it's going to be kind of hard for you. And if you don't, um, if you don't want to develop yourself, it's going to be even harder because when we deal with people, we have to develop ourselves as a person. And I can say with absolute certainty that Young Living has developed me more than anything else I've ever been. There's, there needs to be a lot of intentionality and Operation Silver is a great catalyst for seeing the importance of that and learning how to do that. So that's a great way to get started. But yes, you can do it in your spare time. Um, just so you know about that, Operation Silver um, is a I encourage people to set aside about an hour a day while you're doing it. So that can be a little bit more than some people are comfortable with, but just know that that's an option if you do have an hour a day and most people do, we just may not want to prioritize it. Most people do have the ability to find that time. Um, but that's a really good option for getting you launched. So, um, if you, if you're a part of our organization, let me know, we can get you in that group if you are ready to commit to something like that, or if you want to wait till next month or in the future, you know, let us know, but that's a good option. Um, and then the last question, what's the most cost effective way that's essential rewards. So that's just the best way to do it, period. Um, so those are the questions that I had listed that we get a lot. Uh, let me see. I'm going to, I'm going to scroll back through the questions. Okay, Karen asked, how many people do you need below you to make money? One. You make money on every person, every time they buy. So, one person. Or two. Or 500. Or 3,000. Any of those. Should I buy business cards? Um, you know, that's kind of a personal choice. I'll tell you that I, I use business cards primarily to send out in my mailings. I very, very rarely exchange business cards with somebody. If I do cold market prospecting, which I do from time to time, I will leave my business card with them. And so there's benefits. It kind of depends on how you're planning to approach this. But quite honestly, the best thing that I've found is instead of, instead of spending the money on a business card, if you are, um, because business cards are for people you don't know, obviously. So let's say you're at Chick-fil-A and you're your kids are playing in the play place and you start chatting with another mom 
or another lady and and something about Young Living comes up, the best thing that I've found to do is to say, I would really love to sit down and chat with you. Could we exchange information? And so that way you get her number and she gets your number. Um, asking for their number without offering yours will generally get you kind of an uncomfortable silence. <laughs> so can we exchange information is a great way to do it. The other reality is that most people are just going to lose your card. So I don't really think it's a priority. You can get them if you want. I wouldn't get very many until you know what you're going to do with them. Vistaprint does have really cheap cards. I personally don't like them because I was a photographer and I think that their quality is horrendous, but they are cheap. Okay, the biggest thing. I don't have $160 for a kit. This is really common. Um, so there's a couple things to this. Generally, what this means is it doesn't mean I don't have $160 for a kit because if, if most people, I'm not saying everybody, but if most Americans would write down every single dollar that they spend for a month, they would be shocked at what they actually spend their money on. Shocked. So, you know, you grab a burger here and you grab a drink at the gas station there when you fill up your tank. Um, you know, you run to the store and you grab this or that or that. We spend money all the time and we don't even know it. We think that we don't have money, but many of us, most of us, have the money. So usually what I don't have $160 for the kit means is either one of two things. I have no idea what I'm spending my money on and I don't think I have the money or I don't see the value in that kit. And so that just means they need to understand more about why it's important that they have oils because Gary Young, our company founder, has a mission and his mission is to get Young Living oils in every home in the world, every home in the world. That's how strongly he believes in our oils and I side with him on that. I truly believe everybody needs Young Living in their home. So if they are saying that for the most part, it means they don't value the kit yet and that's okay. It just means you have a little bit more work to do or they have no idea what they're doing with their money. There are people, I'm, there are people who literally don't have the money or people who have such little wiggle room that then I would say, you know what, that's okay. Not everybody has that money and we have a kit just for you. We have the basic kit and the basic kit is, is amazing. It's, it gives them the opportunity to try out five different kinds of oils in the sample pack. It gives them two packets of Ningxia Red. It gives them, um, the opportunity to get on essential rewards. So even right away, if they have a little bit of money, but they can't do the 160 plus tax and shipping, they can get on essential rewards right away and start earning points back right away with just a $50 a month order. So the basic kit is phenomenal. And I know that Katrina, who's my sponsor, um, without going through their entire story, they, they literally had, they were those people, <laughs> they had no money. They took grocery money from their household budget to buy their basic starter kit because they knew the importance. They understood the value. They pulled from another area of their budget and they bought the basic kit and they lived with that basic kit for a long time. Oh, I forgot the stress away. You get stress away also. Um, they lived with that basic kit for a long time and then they started a business and they're platinums now. So do not discount that basic starter kit. It's perfect for people who don't have that big enough budget. However, having said that, I encourage people if they're able to save up for a month or two, maybe three months, if they can do that in that period of time and they can afford a premium starter kit then, it is by far worth it because it comes with a free diffuser and all the oils, it's a great, great value. So if they can save up, the premium starter kit is really the best value for their money. If they can't, the basic starter kit will do just fine and it will get them in the door to get the 24% off anything else. They can get on essential rewards and go from there. So it, it kind of depends and it, you know, that answer would kind of depend on how well you know them, but that's generally where I would go with that. Okay. Can we sign people up in other countries? Yes and no. Um, we have many countries that are open market. 
in the in the world, there are some countries that are just very difficult for us to work with, and we, they don't allow us to mail things into that country and for their own members to be, or for their own citizens to be members of Young Living. Um, so that's, a, I'm sorry that the video keeps cutting out. Hopefully it'll record okay when we're done. Um, that's a great question, and I would um, encourage you to <laughs> contact me later, and I can get you some more information on that. But if you go to youngliving.com, you can see all the countries that are listed there. Like you can log in as in a different country, and then I'll give you a, a good heads up on where we're at with that. Um, but also, Young Living Corporate is continuing to expand, so there's always new markets opening up, and it's very, it's been very neat to see. So honestly, I don't know a lot about South America myself, but, but I can help you find out if you can't find that information. Do you earn money from the basic kit? No. You don't. There's zero PV on the basic kit, so that start living bonus is just, that's the $25 bonus, that's just for the PSK, so you wouldn't get that. And then 25% of their volume is the fast start bonus, but if their volume is zero, then that's zero. So if they got on essential rewards or if they placed, um, if they added something else to that order when they bought their basic kit, then you would earn money off of that. Um, but in my opinion, it's better for them to get in no more alarms. It's better for them to get in the door, get started with Young Living, then it's more important for them to do that than for us to make that bigger bonus for me. So, okay, taxes. Yeah, um, I can't actually give any specific tax advice because I'm not a tax preparer, so um, I can tell you what I do use, um, but I can't give you any advice for yourself. So, um, so I have a spreadsheet. I'm actually terrible at taxes, but we do put together a spreadsheet and work to put it on there. And so there are a lot of things that you can write off when you have your own business, which I know you probably already are familiar with, Amanda. Um, but yes, I would encourage you to keep any receipt that you think is going to be even remotely connected to your business and file it away so that next year you can take that to your tax preparer and they can help you go through that. There's so much tax information online, but there is actually a Facebook group. I think it's called Young Living Taxes. Remind me later and I'll find it and let you know what it is. And I think that would probably answer some more of your questions because I can't really legally answer many questions about what to do with taxes. But yes, I do keep all my receipts. We write off a lot of things and that's the benefit of being a business owner. So, okay, well, it is 9.34. I have officially talked for an hour. My voice is, is getting getting crazy. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. I hope it wasn't too scattered like my brain. Um, but if you do have more questions, um, you feel free to get in touch with me. If you're in my organization, if you're in another one, feel free to get in touch with your sponsor there. Um, we have a monthly business builder meeting in Indianapolis for our team. And I really, really encourage you to come. If you're anywhere in Indy, um, it's the first Monday of every month we meet on the south side. There's another one that meets on the north side at some point. I'm not sure exactly when it meets, but it's once a month up there too. But on the south side, um, first Monday of the month, we have a business meeting. And it is just extremely encouraging. It's motivating to be around people who are doing the same thing as you are. It's kind of like if you're a believer and you go to church, it's so great to go to church. Um, it's kind of like that but it's for business. So I really encourage you to come if you're able to. Tomorrow is our monthly meeting for April and we are meeting at Greek's Pizzeria. We eat for dinner at, we meet for dinner at six and the meeting starts at seven and tomorrow we're actually going to be doing like a big celebration for my sponsor and her husband um, who just reached the rank of platinum. So in case you forgot what that means, that means an average paycheck of $14,700 a month. So if you want to meet at Platinum, <laughs> come to that. We're also having our closest diamond come and she's going to share with us tomorrow evening. Average di diamond monthly income is almost $39,000. I'm just telling you that because they're real people and they're really normal people, but it's sometimes good for us to see that real, really normal people can make that much money and it's not outside the realm of possibility for us. So we would love to have you there. If you have questions about that, let me know. Young Living does send a 1099, yes, as long as you make more than $600 per month. Or I'm sorry, $600 per year. When you hit the $600 mark, you qualify yourself for a 1099, yeah. So 
Great. I'm so glad you're coming, Sharon. So yeah, um, we would love to see you guys there tomorrow. We're going to pack the house tomorrow for real. Like, we're literally going to pack that room out. But still come, because it's so fun when it's packed. Um, but yeah, if you have questions, let me know. If you're in my, my team, keep an eye out this coming week for that class where I just show you how easy it is to share with the product guide. And um, we have a bunch of fun incentives going on, so make sure you check out the posts in the group as well. But thank you guys so much for joining us. This was really fun. I hope it was helpful for you. But if it was not, let me know. That was a terrible presentation, Heidi. Don't ever do it again. <laughs> All right. Um, for those of you that are just joining, this should stay up in the event page until Facebook pulls it. I don't have any intentions of pulling it, but I do know that they pull events after a couple weeks. So just so you know, you can go back and watch it, um, but I don't know how long it'll be here. <laughs> so, all right, well, you all have a great evening. Hopefully we'll see you locals tomorrow night for our business meeting and enjoy the rest of your night. Bye.